Yo, what is going on, guys? I have episode number 26 of the Deacastry. That's right, we're finally getting it up, not 17 weeks after the previous episode. This game was something different. We were in Division 1. We can only get, I think, one, maybe two more losses, and then we're not in Division 1. We're not going to win the Division 1 title. To keep Division 1, I'm not really sure what we need, but we go up one nothing. It's looking pretty good. This guy gets a pretty meh goal and bad defense on my part. And then all of a sudden, while I'm playing this game, my hip just goes. I later found out I somehow sprained it. I don't know how. My hockey, previous hockey games, I've fallen on it, fallen on it. I've got hit in the same hip. All this stuff has happened to the hip. So I was, it, it's been in pain for a while, but like it was fine. I never went to the doctors or anything, but like it had strong pain. So I just put Icy Hot and all this stuff on it, just trying to ignore it. And then randomly while I'm just sitting down, I guess I sat on my hip some way weird or something. And the worst pain ever, I actually blacked out from pain. So that's the story right there, but while I was playing, I just, that happened. I don't even know what happened. All I was doing was just adjusting, like, where I was sitting, and then, boom, it just happened. I had all this pain. I was not playing NHL, obviously. I couldn't. I blacked out. Just terrible, this game. Obviously, I got the loss. Just showing you the goals he scored. He ends up winning this game 4-1, and at this point, with my hip, I couldn't really walk properly for about a week. I had to, like... Eh, it, it was it wasn't fun i'll give you that definitely not it wasn't fun but i mean i was able to play obviously but right after i lost this game i kind of lost motivation to play for a bit these games are two three maybe four weeks ago so i'm sorry about that some of you guys are leaving suggestions on how i should play defense or this or that how do i should adjust my game these game well this these game plays are older so i'm sorry if i'm not adjusting as you want it but yeah basically that's why i lost that game and just Made me lose motivation to keep playing because I got a loss and then I couldn't really win Division 1 title with that loss, I believe. Anyway, this game we go into, we were down one nothing, and with 0 0.4 seconds, we tie the game. I think that's the clutchest goal I've scored. Well, the best tying goal or whatever with the least amount of time. I've scored it in NHL 15 with 0 0.4 seconds left to tie the game. Mike Madano, he's been clutch for us. He's really, really good, actually. He's got great speed, good hands, and his shot's been pretty good. Nothing too amazing, but that was a sick shot, and he does tie the game for us. We go all the way to the shootout, which we've been not too good at, but we start out off going up one nothing with Pavel Bure, so that is always a good start. And he would come in with his own Pavel Bure and try to do something similar, and he does score to make it a 1-1 game. Do not like the shootouts at all. I wish they were not in hut. It's just, uh, maybe if you could control the goalie, it'd be different, but I just do not like it. We go up with Patrick Kane. He does the same thing backhand. I mean, that's how you got, that's the only way you can win. You're playing computer goalie. If you make the mistake like this guy does of not actually capitalizing, you have a good chance of losing. So Malkin misses and Kane does score. So it was 2-1 and Duchesne could win it. And he does. He makes it a 3-1. Well, 3-1 in the shootout. So we end up winning the shootout, scoring all three chances. The previous shootout we played, I don't think we scored in one chance. So big difference there, big difference there. We are 3-2-1, and one, and I believe, yeah, we cannot we cannot get the 16 points, sadly. So all this is just for nothing, and I was just trying to finish off Division, like just to restart it again because we obviously can't win. I just want to stay in Division 1 and then hopefully get a good chance of actually winning the title. We need eight wins or just 16 points. But anyway, we go, we tie the game at 1-1 and just trying to put some pressure on here. He makes a good little play to get it out of his own. Bure comes in. No, that is not Bure. That is Oshi. He makes a nice little play. Steen back to Oshi. And then you guys can explain that to me. Bad defense on my part, but I don't know how that goes in. Anyway, Duchesne has the puck. He skates the circle, throws it to Kane. Kane doesn't get it, but he picks it up. That's like a spinorama. And Kessler kind of does the same shot he does, but it's closer and with more power. So that one makes more sense, but still not a very good shot. And Bure, shortly after, makes it a 3-2 lead for us. Five minutes left, and bad defense on my part. He gets a breakaway, easy goal for him. And guess what? Back-to-back -back shootouts. After scoring 3-for-3 three three in the last shootout, the game right after, he gets the first goal to start it off from Eric Stahl. And we got to try to tie it. Bure scored last game in the shootout. And this game, he misses. I think he hit the post, but it does not go in. It doesn't matter if you hit the post because it still doesn't count as a goal, obviously. So we are not tied 1-1. He comes in. It's the easiest goal ever. Our goalie was so out. 2 nothing. Not looking good. If we miss here, he gets the win in the shootout. Patrick Kane luckily gets that up. Beautiful shot, but again... You're going to score. Just that one looked nice. Got to hit, hit the crossbar and post or whatever. But 2-1, he could win it here. 
He makes a nice little move. Easy goal. 3-1 win for him. He pulled what we pulled on that guy previously. He wins 3-1. We won 3-1 last game. So we get a shootout loss. So our record is not looking good, to be honest. We shouldn't have we didn't deserve the loss when my hit went out. I was out playing the guy by quite a bit. Anyway, this episode is gonna be a bit different, and you guys have semi a surprise for for the next episode, but I'm gonna end this episode off just opening packs. We do pull a team of the year, which I've never showed before that I've pulled, so if you guys want to watch this and understand what's going to be coming for the next episode and what was previously and all this stuff, I'm going to be talking about it for the next four or five minutes or such. So I'm not really going to be talking about what I get in the packs unless there's something amazing that I want to pop up, which if you guys watch it, you will see one of the amazing pulls we do get. But I'm going to be talking about how this episode was just kind of a blur. Not a blur, but like we we didn't win Division One title. We kind of got close, but not too close. So I decided I want to revamp the whole team. I'm going to change everything up. And basically, this episode, we're just throwing together all the stuff that was from, I'd say, weeks ago, because my hip and all this stuff kind of took a break from playing. So <clears throat> I'm going to take all your guys' comments and suggestions from how I should play better, what I should do with my team, this and that. And we're going to start from Division 1, 0, 0, 0, because we stayed in Division 1. We didn't win the title, though. So we're 0, 0, 0. We have to go 8 and 0. Seven, whatever we have to do, we have to get 16 points though, and we're going to try rebuilding our whole team, rebuilding our how we play, and just try to get the Division 1 title. We're going to have some more tributes in the next episode, but again, this episode is just, I'd say, kind of a shorter episode, kind of random by throwing in packs and stuff, and the whole hip thing, that game, just, ugh, kind of a mess. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and have been enjoying the series. I know a huge turnoff for most people is that I would upload an episode take one two even three weeks to upload the next episode and most people would either just not care about it and not care about the series or the next episode or just come to the episode and like i don't even remember what happened last episode it was so long ago so i'm really sorry about that honestly it's frustrating and i wish i could have been more active it's just a lot of things have happened when my hip went out i didn't have any motivation from losing and b i didn't have any motivation just from i couldn't really I don't know, it was hard to sit, I had, it was more comfortable walking or just laying in bed than actually sitting on my chair, sadly, so I couldn't really play that much. But anyway, I am back and we're going to be more active, I hopefully, I mean my videos have been more active, if you guys have noticed, I think I have about 8 or 9 videos in the past 2 or 3 weeks, which is, it's been really good and hopefully you guys are enjoying the episodes and videos and pack openings and stuff like that. Pulled a team of the year Sagan if you guys saw that, and sadly that will not be on the Deacon Street, I did not, I'm selling it, but... For a player who will be on the Deca Street the next episode, so you guys will see who that is. So that's kind of exciting. He's a top end player who I've never used before, who I'm excited to use. But anyway, this next pack opening will be the team of the year that we do pull. It's not a live commentary, and I'm not even that. Uh, I know my emotions, emotions. There you go. I'm not like, whoa, oh my god, team of the year Carlson. But yeah, we did end up pulling one a while ago. Sold him for like 160, and I wanted to try him, but I ended up selling him. But if you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, and any suggestions or comments will actually be going towards the next episode of the Deacon Street. So if you want to leave that in the comment section below, that would be really appreciated. And I'll be looking at some stuff as well as leaving some player suggestions and stuff like that. But I will see you guys next episode, and we're hopefully on our way to winning the Division One title. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time.